Welcome to the Vault Podcast and Reviews, where music still matters. You can check out all our shows at YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, and Podomatic. Please rate, review, and most importantly, subscribe. Also, make sure to check us out on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And if you like what we're doing and you'd like to contribute to help us keep the show going, check out patreon.com slash the vault. Hey, what's up? This is Zan uh, flying solo on this review today. I know you guys want to keep hearing more of these shows, so here we are. I chose this album, Sea Shanties by the band High Tide. It's a 1969 release, 11 tracks. I listened to the Spotify version. I don't have the vinyl yet. Uh, the jury's still out on if I'm going to buy it. You'll hear that maybe by the end of this review. But I was actually really surprised to hear this album on Spotify, as kind of old and obscure as it is. I first heard this band High Tide from the Bible compilation from Fenris, Fenris from Dark Throne fame. And we did a review on that album uh, a while back, so if you want to go back and check it out, there's a lot more cool bands on there to check out. But this uh, band, uh, the first song, Feudalist Lament, that's the first song I heard of them. That's the one that Fenders put on that compilation. It Basically, if you take The Doors and you put Iron Butterfly with it, that's what you get. And honestly, that's about what you get through this whole album. Uh, that first song, like I said, it's it's really an interesting mix. It kind of throws you off. Uh, next song up was Death Warmed Up. Same kind of thing. Uh, very Doors, but the, there's there's proto-metal here. I mean, this is the early, you know, 1969 uh, the distortion they use is, is it's got this edge to it. It's an instrumental song. It's a little long for my liking. They do use a violin in it, which is super cool. Push but not forgotten is the next track. That is very very doors, but this is where a lot of the progressive elements start kind of creeping in. Uh, next song up, walking down their outlook. Awesome awesome song. Really strange parts in this. Uh, violin solo again. Uh, and then I think this around this point in the album is when it really it starts getting a lot of the same stuff. You start seeing the same characteristics throughout the song. Basically, that Doors and Iron Butterfly combo, it kind of morphs into this almost taking those two bands, but then adding like a jam band progressive, uh, what I like to call the Spinal Tap Jazz Odyssey kind of stuff. It's still really awesome, but... You know, it, it just started wearing on me a little bit as, as I continued listening. Uh, most of these songs were super cool. Uh, Missing Out, not bad, but didn't stand out as the others. The song Nowhere, really spacey, uh, had a little bit of a softer feel. But again, we're just, you know, this at this point it's starting to wear on me and there's not even that many tracks, like I said, 11 tracks. Dilemma, that was the other really good song on here. Dilemma and Walking Down Their Outlook and Death Warmed Over and Feudal Slamet. Those are kind of the standout songs for me. Um, some of these, too, the... Are, they get a little bit drawn out, and that's a negative for me. The song may be really good, but then it just feels like I'm hearing the same same kind of thing over and over again with just the guitar kind of soloing over everything else just doing the same thing, if that makes any sense. You know, it's a pretty solid album as a whole. It's just some of the stuff really, really started wearing on me. So let's run down some of the positives. The violin, that's something that's real in here that's really done well. Uh, it's complementing to the sound. You know, it's uh, a lot of times it will either complement the guitar riffs or the guitar riffs complement the violin. Uh, either way, it's a really good mix and it's something you don't hear in a lot of metal or the heavy heavy rock stuff. Heavy organ use, uh, you know, not, not, not maybe to the effect of some of these other bands, but it's the same thing as like Iron Butterfly, you know. You hear the Iron Butterfly organ, that's kind of what you're going to get in this. There's a real raw, edgy distortion to this album. It's not the heaviest thing, but it makes it that way, especially for 1969. It's just this, this super fuzz sound, and every riff ends up being heavier because of the distortion. Not heavy as in, like, you know, the, the death metal tones of this, this really full fill in the room, full of, you know, power, uh, but just this raw edge, which I think is, you know, missing in a lot of current rock hard rock, metal, death metal, anything, is the, the rawness. You know, a lot of times it's not how heavy it is, it's how the rawness can make it that much heavier, even if it's not that heavy. And uh, the proto-metal that I brought up earlier, this is early, early sound of metal that, you know, I mean, Zeppelin and Black Sabbath were out around this time, but, you know, this is definitely proto-metal, but still keeping with that 60s feel. Uh, negatives, um, like I said, start and sound the same, a lot of it, while it's cool, and while it was 
psychedelic, you know, I which I love. You know, anybody that knows me loves this psychedelic hard rock stuff from the 60s and 70s. It's like right in my wheelhouse. But a lot of the stuff just really started wearing on me, and I, like, started forgetting, like, I, not forget where I was, but I started not paying attention. I started, like, looking at my phone or trying to do something else, you know. And if music is doing that for me, that's not a good sign. Uh, the jam band freeform section kind of thing, like I said, cool, but just uh, done just done way too long. Um, it would have been good to have a lot of that stuff done separate into different parts. Um, I think they could have benefited a lot from that because, you know, I don't mind if a song is 10 minutes long if it's got enough stuff in it to keep me picking out these different parts or going back to parts that I like. And like I said, a lot of the stuff on here is just kind of, the music is just flowing with the guys just soloing over the top of it, and you don't really know what's coming next. And sometimes that got way of the song in vain of, like I said, the Spinal Tap Jazz Odyssey stuff because they're just going off, and then you forget, like, uh, what song is what. I mean, you have to go back and look and try to decipher what track you're listening to as you're listening to this. That's why I had to do reviewing. And I had to go back and listen to some songs multiple times, not because I liked them or wanted to, but because I had to try to separate what I was actually listening to by the title and everything. So, um, so yeah, I mean, those, are, those aren't those are terrible. The, this album is, is not bad by any means. It's just there were some things there that you know I, I wasn't a big fan of. So uh, once again, just check out Feudalist Lament, Walking Down the Outlook, and Dilemma. Those songs. Oh, and Death Warmed Up. Those songs really good. Uh, if nothing else, check those out on Spotify or iTunes. But with that, let's get into the review. One star being the worst, five stars being the best. We're gonna give this three and three quarters. So you know, I couldn't quite give it a four. Solid album, you know, psych like I said, if you like The Doors and you like Iron Butterfly, put those together, that's what you've got in this album, pretty much throughout the whole thing. Throw in some progressive rock, throw in, you know, even a little bit more psychedelic and the jam band, you know, <laughs> Spinal Tap Jazz Odyssey kind of stuff, and that's what you're going to get. I would definitely recommend checking this out. I don't, I don't think I'm going to buy it, you know, this is something that will probably be on my Spotify. Uh, usually I just buy, I buy the stuff that I just, you know, you, it seems like the albums that get a four-star rating are better I end up buying. So I uh, don't know that I'll check this one out. If I can get it on sale, I'll probably check it out. But, uh, yeah, Sea Shanties by High Tide 1969. Make sure to check this one out. Three and three-quarter stars for me. I try not to be too biased, but, you know, I'm the only one that could do it today. So that's what we're doing. Once again, thanks for listening to the review. Make sure to check out everything else from The Vault. You can find us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you can subscribe, like, and comment. Also, subscribe, rate, and review on YouTube, iTunes, Stitcher, and Podomatic. If you'd like to help contribute to the show, uh, there's PayPal links and Patreon links in all of our show descriptions. And then you can check out all my personal stuff. Uh, it's just Zan Morning, Z-H-A-N-M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G, all over social media. I got my own YouTube channel and I got my own website, zanmorning.weebly.com. Always got a bunch of cool stuff going over there. So thanks for listening. See ya.